from Maine to Alaska. The hottest snowboard action is right here, right now on the Outdoor Life Network. Hi, everybody. Rod Elisha along with Dave Bryson for another session on the Paul Mitchell Snowboard Tour. And today we return to Crested Butte, and this time out, it is a big air contest. The quest for our competitors to launch the biggest aerial maneuver they can off a man-made jump and hope the judges score them well on size, style, and soul. Dave, a little insight on our session of flight today. Rod, you've got it exactly right. This is a big air competition, so what we're going to see today from the competitors will be them going for it as big as they can. With the lift we have prepared, it's going to be launching them as big as they want, and that's what it'll come down to, is how big can they go. We're going to see. All right, with no further ado, let's get right to it. The Big Air Contest, part of the Paul Mitchell Snowboard Tour on Outdoor Life Network. The competitors in a company crew go off in building the jump to push for the perfect lift for launching that big air and a safe landing for those who dare test the carnage barrier. The shovel time also allows for the competitors to size up the in-run, the launch itself, and the landing to ensure it's safe. Judges, meanwhile, are looking for launch, amplitude, style, difficulty, and sticking the landing. The bottom line? Go big or go home. Basically, it just goes straight off, but there's a lot of dropout from underneath it. But um, yeah, I guess the technique is just point it from the top without speed checking, and uh, hopefully you go bigger than everyone else and do a nice grab or something like that. You know, I'm not going to try and spin or anything, but. Hopefully I just land it, you know, and have a good time and go big. A big crowd on hand, and they are stoked for a big airfare. Remember, no inverted aerials. All competitors must wear helmet for safety. Mike Sienga first up, Bib 87 from Gunnison, Colorado, on the in-run or run up to the jump. It's approximately 125 feet. And Sienga with a huge 360, setting the early standard and taking a bow for the crowd. Sienga's huge huck replete with full 360 spin. Quick grab of the board, an excellent spot of the landing, and just a small butt touch in the landing itself. Next up, Chris Mulcahy from right here in Crested Butte, Colorado. The in-run, one of the most important aspects of a big air contest. It allows the riders to gather speed and stabilize a rhythm before hitting the lip. And a stylish front grab 180, sometimes called a fakie or an alley-oop when performed in the half pipe. Let's go back to the slow motion and look at the ultra clean form. Solid, very styly all the way through. Just a little light on the landing, but a very huge hit for Chris Mulcahy. Now on course, bib number 145, EJ Tharp, another CB local. 180 with a double front board grab and a good indication of the time of the year. The crowd just loves that one. Back up top for the slow motion replay. Notice while he's rotating, grabs the back of the board. Looks like he misses the front, then comes back and grabs it again. An awesome jump for EJ Tharp, 94 points. Now on course with Jeff Miracle, bib number 93, one of the big jumpers from right here in Crested Butte. Straight ahead, Indy grab, very clean. Not as stylish as some of our previous jumpers, but a nice jump all together. Again in slow motion, look at him launch, grab, keep the backhand high, and land solid. He really stuck that landing. Our next pilot, Jason Pogolov, again from right here in Crested Butte, a money winner in our last Paul Mitchell event, Border Fester Border Cross, so he can ride with the best of them. Now, can he launch with the best of them? Nice spinny move. Little light on the landing, a little bit of a butt slide, but a beautiful three. In slow motion, not as stylish as some again, but great explosion off the jump. Excellent carry and small form break on the landing before recovering 87 points. Now it's time for Mitch Stout. Stout from Snowmass Valley, just down the road from Aspen, where the rich elite hang out. See if he can hang out with a rich rocket launch right here on this jump. Great height and a sweet 360 move. Cloud of smoke in the landing, pretty clean all the way around. In slow motion, spinning off of the launch, he uses his hand to keep his axis, spots the landing, and then just a slight touchdown. Now it's Corey Smith from Salt Lake City, Utah. Again, you need the rhythm and the focus on the jump in the in run. Notice how the eyes are glued to the lift. And the launch, a 540 grab and a beauty with big airtime. 
A little butt bump on the landing, but a huge maneuver, a real crowd pleaser. In slow motion, notice the height, the spin, and a monster air, good for 95 points and our first round lead. So let's take a look at the scoreboard. Corey Smith by one point over E.J. Tharp, Jason Pogoloff in third, Mulcahy, Stout, and Miracle round out the top six. Still plenty more to come on the Paul Mitchell Snowboard Tour. Big air from Crested Butte, and we'll be right back. Big air from Crested Butte on the Paul Mitchell Snowboard Tour. For more insight on what the judges are looking for, here's Dave Bryson. The judges are definitely looking for some specifics in today's competition. The first one, degree of difficulty. How hard is the trick the individual is pulling? Control. Is the person in control as they leave the lip, in the air, as they land? All those are important. Amplitude. More of an overall impression, really. How big was it? Was it bigger than anyone else's? Style. What kind of style did the person show? Was it really sketchy in the air, or was it smooth throughout? And landing. To the judges, that's the most simple one. It's a stick or no stick. <laughs> well, as the judges tally the scores from the men's first round, here's a taste of the top juniors, including Ryan Clemenson, one of a total of 52 competitors who showed up to air it out here in Crested Butte under beautiful cobalt blue skies in Colorado. Smoke and backside grab for Clemenson, 77 points for a possible future chairman of the board. Now on the in-run for the junior men, C.R. Benton from right here in Crested Butte. Notice the control and savvy and the launch and a nice, nice jump, 81 points. Now it's time to fly for Steve Courtney. Courtney again from right here in Crested Butte. Nice tail grab for Courtney and landed just like the big studs. An excellent jump. Now it's bib number 121, Chris Coulter, one of the thousands of up and coming riders across the US. Off the lip and a monster launch and the grab sticks the landings. 100 points and our first round lead. So here's how the junior men size up after one jump. Chris Coulter on top, followed by Brenton, Courtney and Clemenson. Now it's time for our junior women, and first up is 15-year-old Autumn Starr. She's been boarding for about four years, but this is her first year of competition. Off the lip, a nice jump, but a little sketchy on the landing, and eating a little bit of snow is Autumn Starr. Now on course, 17-year-old Kate Fletcher. Her mom lives in Girdwood, Alaska. I bet you can imagine that she rides at the tough Alieska Resort. Nice launch and an indie grab, an okay landing. 50 points for Kate Fletcher. So the scoreboard for the junior women, Kate Fletcher with 50 points, Autumn Starr with 35. With a break in the action, it's time for a peek at the long and fat of snowboarding technology, a segment we call Technovation. Hi, I'm Jim Staley with Finlay Technologies, and I want to show you a hot new product we've got on the market for snowboarders. It's a collapsible pole that helps them out in the flats. Basically, uh, it straps to your lower leg and just clips out on the fly. You extend it and lock it into place. Then you can use it to propel yourself along in the flats, use it as a brake in the lift area, lean on it if you're tired. Uh, you get, get yourself up out of a deep hole, you know, push yourself up. We specially designed the clips to secure it to your leg and it just collapses back up, clips to your leg securely. So you got full range of motion while you're riding, but it will break away in the event of a bad rack. Uh, it comes in three different sizes, depending on your height. And uh, they're super light, they weigh about a pound. And they're just, you know, we think it's gonna be a real hot product for both beginners and experts. Get out there and use the board pole. Now back to the competition, right to the top for our women jumpers. Next in line to toss a trick, this is Kate Moriarty from Vail, Colorado. Kate ruling the women's side of last week's Border Fest right here in Crested Butte. And a great launch, a huge air, little sketchy on the landing, still she'll get one more attempt. The slow motion replay shows a great launch, awesome height, massive air time, rolling down the windows to balance out and then just sitting back a little too much on the board slap on the firm landing area. 
And now Janet Antrim. Janet, a kick and rider who absolutely loves the ultra steep and deep, defending U.S. Extreme Snowboard Champion here in Crested Butte. Backside grab and a pretty good landing, but a little bit of a butt slide. She won't be happy with that one. Let's look at it again one more time in slow motion. Notice a good launch, a nice clean grab, excellent for him. The only problem with her, sticking the landing. Now psyching in the start zone is Janet Rudebush. On course with another Crested Butte local, they have really turned out for this competition. Nice quiet approach to the jump. Notice the eyes focusing on the lip all the way. And the launch, a little cat out the window. Small little butt slide, but a quick recovery on the landing. A total of 50 points. Notice the way the arms swing to get the balance back. And Rudebush again with 50 points. And now it's time for Jules Larson. She's a late entry into the competition, a snowboard instructor here at the Butte. She rode up, scoped the competition, paid the entry, and jumped in the gate. Here she goes. Sweet and clean on the toe grab, but again a little hard slap on the landing and a sideways slide to recover. Once again in slow motion, pretty good launch, a nice clean trick, and the judges love to see the hands held high on the landing. They will score better for that. It means the competitor is within their realm. Kate Moriarty, our first round leader for the women with 68 points. Larson, Antrim, and Rudabush round out the top four. Still more big blast to come with this edition of the Paul Mitchell Snowboard Tour. Hang tight for more flight in a moment. Rockin' and rolling with a Paul Mitchell Snowboard Tour, Big Air from Preston Butte, Colorado. And it is time for our second and final jump. First up, Autumn Starr, second in the junior women's competition after the first go around. She is on course. Different camera angles shows more of the rider's perspective as they launch off the lip. The added difficulty of the shadows over the landing area, much more difficult to spot the snow. 64 points for that jump by Autumn Starr. And now it's Kate Fletcher ready to answer the question, how big you're going to go? On course for her second and final jump in the junior women's category. And a big launch, a bit of a rough landing. One more time, you see the method air, but she just cannot stick the landing tightly. 45 points for Kate Fletcher. Autumn Starr is our winner, 99 points to 95 for Kate Fletcher. And now it's time to crown our junior men's champ. Second attempt for Ryan Clemenson. Nice jump by Clemenson. A stylish big launch indie grab and a super landing. Now it's time for Steve Courtney, third after the first round. Courtney trying to dial in on his second attempt on course in the in run. Beauty, backside 360, and a solid landing for Stephen Courtney. Look at the rotation, spot the landing, the hands held high, and the judges and the crowd just got to love that one. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it's Dylan Conklin. He was outside the top five after the first go-around to move up. He must bust a big move here. A nice spinny move, front side three with a grab. Look at it in slow motion. Look at the altitude and amplitude. Conklin creating a high, long, stylish maneuver. Overall huge, 97 points. Now it's Chris Coulter's turn. He's in the driver's seat, first after round number one, but he's going to have to really huck huge to keep his standing after those last two launches. Wow, super 540 spin trick. Back to the replay. An excellent degree of difficulty, tight control, great amplitude, just a little too much rotation for a clean landing, 82 points. But still it's enough. Coulter takes the junior men's title with 182 points. Courtney is second, Clemenson third, and Brenton fourth. A break in the action. Time for a good cup of joe. It's time for local attitude. My name's Al. This is Camp 4 Coffee Cart in Crested View, Colorado. My buddy Chewy, he's the coffee god does art, all that stuff. Coffee art is not just an artistic thing. What it is is a quality indicator. Because if you don't do the espresso just right, 
you're not going to get the consistency you need to be able to get the art. If someone can do the espresso just perfect with great crema, and if they foam the milk so it's super velvety, then you can do art. If you don't do that right, you can't do art. So if you can see art in a cup, you know somebody did everything else right, and you know you can drink it. Snowboarding is getting more and more radical, extreme, if you will. Um, coffee helps heighten your senses of awareness, your reaction time. And a lot of places up on this mountain, um, if you f up, you're going to die. So you probably want to have a little bit of an edge. So if you're skiing without coffee, you're probably taking unnecessary risks. There you go. Have a good day riding. We got some great energy flowing here. It's time for our women's final in the Big Air Contest, and this is Kate Moriarty. First after jump number one, four women bunched together at the top. This one's still wide open. Beauty frontside tail grab with a hand slide and a finish with a cloud of smoke. Watch it again. Kate keeps the left hand held high, grabs the tail, slight hand slide, and great, only a small break in the landing. Next up, local favorite Janet Antrim. She rides goofy or right foot forward. On the in run, spotting the lip, and a launch. Lit along on the landing, but a good recovery and rides it out. Once again, a solid launch, a very clean grab. She just can't totally stick the landing. 71 points for Antrim. Now in the start block, Janet Rudebush. A chance to move up in the standings with a big, and a clean maneuver. A huge shot going for the big prize and a semi-sweet landing for Janet Rudebush. Back up top for the slow-mo. Watch the altitude. Great little Indy. The hands held high. The judges love a jump like that. And now it's time for Jules Larson, our fourth and final jumper in the women's finale. Really good rhythm on the approach. Front side, Indy sticks the landing, a stellar all-around aerial maneuver, and you can tell by her reaction, she knows it. Notice the backhand held high, the very smooth move, and the perfect landing, 92 points for Jules Larson. So here's our round two scoreboard. Larson takes top honors with 92 points, Rudebush is second, Kate Moriarty third, and Janet Antrim in fourth place. And that shuffles the overall with Larson taking top honors in the crown. Moriarty drops to second place in a flip-flop for third and fourth between Rudebush and Andrum. The big boys still to come. The Big Air Men's Finals on the Paul Mitchell Snowboard Tour next. The sun getting ready to set on the Crested Butte Big Air Contest. It's twilight for the men's finals. Mike Siango will be up first, psyching himself up for launch number two. Siango fifth after the first jump. Rockets off the lift with a spinny move, a 360, a good 50 feet in the air. Just a little butt touch on the landing, but a very crowd-pleasing jump. Notice the form a little bit different than some of the other 360 moves. And just a touchdown on the landing, 87 points for Siengo. Now it's time for Chris Mulcahy. Mulcahy, another one of those Crested Butte locals. It showed up for a weekend full of competition and fun, riding Crested Butte Mountain Resort. Great rhythm for him on the in run. And a big 360 launch with a grab. A nice, nice 360 Indy. Notice the form, the hand held high, the judges just love that, 81 points. In the blocks now with Steven Babbler, bib number 147. Babbler just outside the top five after one jump. Big missile here, could put him in the money crowd. And he hucks a huge one, great height and length. A 360 styly tip grab. On the replay, a very cool move. Some high style points, ringing up 101 on that jump. 
Now it's E.J. Tharp. Tharp second after the first go around. A very real chance to win this big air contest. But he amps it up on this jump. Another 360 Indiana huge air, and he sticks the landing. A real crowd pleaser, a beautiful jump. Look at the style. The head held low as he spins off that jump forward, spots his landing, sticks it, and some massive flight time for E.J. Tharp and 109 points. Well, a handful of riders still to go, including Jeff Miracle. And it might take a miracle after that last jump. Great rhythm for Miracle on the in run. You notice the sun setting low over the valley. That causes shadows for the landing. But a nice spinny move for Jeff Miracle. A sweet 360 grab. And he pulls out the landing. Once again, already spinning when he goes off the lift, makes the grab, spots the landing, pulls it together, only lacking in height and length, 83 points. Our next astronaut, Jason Pogolov. Pogolov knows he's got to go huge, huge to win this contest. Oh, and the Scottish backside 360, a face plant as well. That's going to hurt not only physically, but for the judges as well as he tries to shake that one off. You can't say he wasn't going for it, but he's off axis and never really pulls it back together and pays for it in the end. 77 points for Jason Pogolov. Next on the block, Mike Preston, a snowmaker here in Crested Butte in the wintertime. A skier since he was three years old, but he's been snowboarding for the last 12. Lives up the road in Irwin Townsite, a member of the Irwin Air Force, and one of the coolest moves we've seen so far. Big style points for that one, a huge tail grab. Notice the little poke of the board as he straightens out that front leg. Really stuck the landing as well. An awesome maneuver by Mike Preston. And our final competitor in the second jump, the final jump for 21-year-old Mitch Stout out of the Aspen area, a professional snowboarder hoping to go very large here for first prize in Crested View. Nice spinny move, 540 front side. Little hack on the landing. Let's look at it in slow motion. Notice great height, very clean maneuver, just cannot stick the landing, 82 points. And our scoreboard for jump number two, E.J. Tharp with the Monster 360 Indy on top, Stephen Babbler second, Mike Preston, Sienga, Miracle, and Stout round out the top six. And congratulations to E.J. Tharp. He is our winner with 203 points, followed by Chris Mulcahy, Mitch Stout, Mike Sienga, Pogoloff, and Miracle. Before we wrap, a segment we love. In any competition, some guys jam and some slam, and when things go really bad, it's a pile driver! Puts a wrap on a great huck fest from here in Crested Butte, Colorado. What do you think, Dave? Cool beans? Man, I tell you, we had some awesome air today. The competitors didn't hold back at all, and the judges awarded points where they needed to be awarded. I think everyone's real happy with the competition, and man, with that much air, what an exciting day. Well, it was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Make sure and join us next time for another stop on the Paul Mitchell Snowboard Tour right here on Outdoor Life Network. See ya. The Paul Mitchell Snowboard Tour is brought to you by Paul Mitchell Professional Salon Products.